All of our applications, the patients and the doctors and the hospitals can all access using a computer, using a laptop, using or using a phone. So we've created a multiple way, but ultimately all the data is in the cloud and all the data is being, as I say, protected and secured, you know, within the IBM space. So let me now just go and share my screen. And as I mentioned, so we've got two primary uh, programs over here. One is the, the patient focused and the other is the healthcare worker focus. Now, you, uh, the audience today, can you guys are health professionals. So you're going to be more focused on the life health admin, which is the green button on the bottom left. But I'm going to start first by giving you a little bit of an overview of the life health wallet, which is the patient centric. So I'm going to click the life health wallet. And, and, and the way we built our system is really from the patient upwards. We've built it looking at it from the patient. What information does the patient need? And we take it from there. So for example, so now uh, in Uganda, it's a very young country. So you wanna add Michael Landa, I wanna add a dependent. So it's very easy for me to go and add a dependent. And then once I've added the dependent, with the, the program is going to uh, ask you about your personal medical history. So then we can put in the patient's medical history. And then all of these, all, this is the only information that the patient puts in themselves. After that, all information is only gonna be inputted by yourselves. By, by the doctors, by the health workers, et cetera. So there's going to be tremendous integrity, you know, kind of in the quality of the, um, of the medical history. And in fact, the doctors, and I'll show you soon how the doctors make those changes. Then we've got some other features, which I'm not gonna go into in a lot of detail, but you'll see over here, um, I was in Miami last week, but we believe in location because if there's gonna be an outbreak of any disease, and I'm sure many of you have been in situations where you would love to know where your different patients are coming from and concentrations of diseases. But I am now at 450 West End Avenue. So I click update and it brings me to 450 West End Avenue. And, and then, you know, we've got other initiatives that we've designed around complete sets of digital maps that you can do incredible amount of data innovation and application. Now I'm just going to quickly go through this. So now you've got your personal information. So you see your blood type. So again, we've, we've got some wonderful innovations around blood. So we've identified a company, we've got a card, and this is actually one of the projects that we're moving very quickly with, with Dr. Sam and your team. And hopefully this will be something that will be available to many of you. You, you get a card, three drop, four drops of blood, card dries in 90 seconds. You look against the reference piece. And again, only done by a health worker. Now you see your blood type. And then we educate the patient all about their blood type. And we'll be able to go and build a digital blood bank for the country. Um, moving on to vaccination. So vaccinations are a major pain in the neck in America, everywhere in the world to keep a record of all your vaccines. So we've created over here a digital uh, vaccination record sample. And we're going to, if you notice over here, you'll see when it was received, who gave it. I'm Dr. Michael Akiki. Um, as I said, you know, I'm not a typical Mzungu. So I'm Dr. Michael Akiki, but over here, you'll see the serial number and with, you know, and you'll be able to see kind of where it was received. And again, the description, and you'll be able to see, and you know, you'll be able to see a whole history of each place where, where it was received. But notice that we've got three different colors. Green is where it was received. Red is where it was not received. So you see it's not been received. And, a, and if it's yellow, it means that you are late. So we've actually built algorithms that will make sure that the patient is aware. And then of course the doctor will also be aware of, and whatever you see here, whatever the patient can see, you as the doctor, you as the health worker with permission of the patient. And that's a very important feature that we've included over here. It may be a bit annoying for some of the doctors, but ultimately we have created the patient in control of their own medical records as opposed to the other way around. So, so we've built these algorithms that will notify the patient if they are late for a particular vaccine. And then of course the doctor will be notified also. Then as we continue then for the, the patient, for their vitals, as you see over here, there's a complete history of all the vital signs. You'll click on blood pressure and then you've got a complete digital history of every time the blood pressure was taken all of your glucose readings, all of your pulse and oxygen readings. And then we've created a feature which we call the four W's, the four W's of healthcare, which are all about educating the public about um, medical information. 
So let's say people blood pressure, and I'm sure many of you as doctors or health workers uh, spend way too much time explaining to people what basic medical terms mean, but now you'll be able to click the blood pressure, the four W's, and it'll tell you, can, what does blood pressure mean? Why should I take my blood pressure? Where does the blood pressure fit in the range? And if it's out of the range, what do I do? And then here is the range. And so we've got that for all of the different medical terms. Then when it comes to the lab testing, so you'll be able to see, for example, on the CBC, instead of the patient getting a digital readout, if they're lucky enough to even get a medical, a, uh, a blood test, what we've done here is we've integrated it with digit, we've digitized it. So if the number is normal, it's green. If it's high, it's red. If it's low, it's blue. And then again, if the patient's nervous and they want to see, oh, my HGB is low, do I need to worry about it? Well, you click the 4W on HGB. What does HGB mean? And it'll tell you what, and where it, what, why should I take it and what you should do if the HGB is out of whack. And then the other thing, of course, is the history. And you as a doctor, whatever I'm showing you here, I'll, you'll, you'll be able to see from your application. And then over here, you'll be able to now can instantly see you know, the complete history of the um, of the of the of that particular patient. So and then one of the things that we're working on and we've had some discussions also kind of with with the UCMB is we 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 like the idea of doing preventative medicine rather than predictive medicine rather than historical um, analytical. So we have designed um, a panel that would actually include all of these things. And if we can do it on scale and hopefully we'll be able to work together to be able to um, be, identify kind of all of the sicknesses way in advance of people becoming sick. So what we've now created over here is the health status button. Health status is now something that we're doing with IBM, with Abbott, and with Abbott Labs. And we're designing this program so that now we'll be able to take the bio data, the vital signs, the blood tests, and we'll be able to create using algorithms um, at the beginning, they're basic algorithms. I'll show you very quickly soon how, you know, blood pressure, keep note, is right now it's normal because it was 120 over 80. Diabetic was, was high. Um, and as you change your bio data and your vitals, and as you change your blood results, this information is going to start changing. And eventually, and eventually, we hope to be within the next three, four months, we're actually going to have predicted, very serious predictive diagnostic tools. So over here, then the patient will be able to click over here and then push the button to create consult with a doctor, kind of order an additional prescription, order a wellness program. So as I said, it's very interactive. It's very, very powerful tool. Here, the patients are going to be able to, and if these are patients, your patients, they'll be able to order blood tests. They'll be able to go and order, book an appointment to go and meet with you. So you'll be able to schedule an appointment with the doctor, with your patients. Your patients will be able to call you um, and you'll be able to schedule either in-person appointments or telemedicine appointments. If it's telemedicine, I'm going to show you soon exactly kind of how that works. You order your prescriptions. Now, some of the other quick features that we've got include a QR code. So this is something which is very unique, but every patient will get their own unique QR code. And at that point, the doctor will be able to just go and scan the QR codes. And again, if the, patient, if the doctor has got permission from the patient, he'll be able to go and review. We're going to be designing this QR code over the next few months. So that way, when you go for your blood labs, you go, you scan, and you'll be able to see the prescription. You'll be able to go, the patient, if they need to go and give a prescription for a drug, that's not being done automatically on our platform. Again, the same thing. Another very um, uh, important tool over here for the patients, and again, the doctors will have access, but every time a doctor goes to see a patient, uh, the patient will, uh, regardless of whether it's a telemedicine call or an in-person call, the doctor will, keep a will have a record, and then the patient will be able to see the records. Let's say, for example, this previous visit, you'll be able to see if there was an attachment. So here's an attachment, you know, a picture of my eye. And so it's a very comprehensive tool, and I'll show it to you a bit more from the, from the doctor's app. And then there's, a, there's an ability to go and track all the medication. And again, eventually, you know, as our artificial intelligence evolves and learns, we'll know which medications work best for which, client, which patients, which patient groups. So again, these are all tools that will make your job as a doctor a lot better, a lot more efficient. 